everyone. So for today, we're going to learn some more about electric circuits. Okay, so but before that, let's have a revision on the different electrical components, the basic ones that you have learned so far. Okay, so the first one that you have learned is about the battery or another word for battery or another term is cell. And please do remember the parts of the battery, this one, the basic one. So you have here the positive end and the negative end. Yeah, okay. So another one, okay, the next one that you have learned is about the bulb, okay. Another electrical component. Okay. By the way, when you say electrical component, it means the parts of a circuit. Component means parts. Yeah. Okay. So you have here the bulb. It's very important for you to remember the different parts of the bulb. Okay. Specifically, you have here the glass cover. Okay. The metal filament, the metal wire. Yeah. And then you have here the metal casing, and the metal tip next one is the wire okay please do remember that the wire can conduct electricity the metal inside okay um, usually they use copper wire inside okay but then uh, of course to protect you from electric shock it has to be covered with this uh, rubber or something like a plastic covering yeah okay because this one does not conduct electricity so it will protect you from electric shock but then our wire here i put some alligator clips you will see here okay the alligator clips okay it's called alligator clips because the it looks like the you know the snout of the alligator yeah yeah okay like that okay on both ends i put the alligator clips so that it's easier for us to connect the different electrical components and probably you have already learned before okay there's uh, another electrical component which is the switch all right so it can open and close a circuit yeah the bulb holder you have here the two parts here and this are connected to the one okay here at the bottom you will see one is connected to the metal casing of the bulb and the other one is connected to the metal tip of the bulb all right okay so this uh this one is optional okay you may or may not have this bulb holder and another thing is that um you may also have the what you call the battery holder yeah okay so um it's easier for you to connect okay the electrical components especially especially the wire okay on the positive and negative ends of the battery if you'll have the battery holder if not you can improvise another one you can make another battery holder so let's start with the activity now we're going to do worksheet number two for today that can be found on page 68 and 69 so kindly get your book now and open to those pages page 68 and 69 the title of this activity worksheet number two is making the right connections now the aim of this activity is to set up a closed circuit please take note that we want a closed circuit the skills that you are going to develop on this activity is analyzing communicating and observing now what do you need you have uh, the basic components electrical components you need the battery the bulb and the wire okay the wire of course i have here the alligator clips okay you may or may not have the alligator clips it's optional but it's uh, easier for you to connect the electrical components if you'll have the alligator clips okay let's start the activity step number one your teacher will give you a battery, a lamp, or bulb, and a wire. Please take note, okay, lamp is also the same thing as the bulb. Battery, another word for battery is cell. Okay, so please get this three electrical components on your kit now. Let's go to step number two. 
try different ways of connecting the three electrical components. Okay, can you please highlight that one? Three electrical components. Now, please do remember the meaning of electrical components. It means parts of the circuit. So again, let's read this one. Step number two, try different ways of connecting the three electrical components so that the bulb lights up. Now, there's a remi reminder here with, uh, from Owen the Owl. Okay, so he said, be careful. Do not touch the bulb when it is lit because it will be hot. Now, remember when electricity already flows through the filament of the bulb, it will produce heat. Yeah, that's why it's glowing. The metal filament of the bulb glows and allow the bulb to light up. Please don't ignore it. It's very important for your safety. Okay, let's go now to step number three. In this space, draw one arrangement of the electrical component components which will make the bulb light up. There are several ways on which you can connect this and make sure that uh, once the bulb lights up, then it means that it's the correct connection. Now remember, the title of this activity is Making the Right Connections. Alright, so I'll be um, giving you one example, but of course, I will not be the, the one to draw for you. Yeah, okay, so let's say for example, what if I try to connect the metal tip directly? When you say directly, I'm not going to use any wire, okay? Directly on the positive terminal like this, okay? Like that. The metal tip is directly connected to the positive end of the battery. Can you see that one? The positive end? Yeah. Okay. So now, I'm going to connect okay, one end of the wire to the negative terminal so this is what you call connecting it indirectly yeah okay to the negative terminal of the battery like this so so the bulb metal tip of the bulb is directly connected to the positive end okay. and the wire, the other end of the wire is connected to the negative end of the battery. Okay, now the other end of the wire, I will connect to the metal casing. Okay, can you see that one? Okay, let me just uh, put this closer there. Okay, so again, the metal tip is connected to the positive end of the battery okay directly and the other end of the wire is connected to the negative end of the battery now the other end of the wire I will connect to the metal casing of the bulb okay so now you can see that it lights up okay so it means this is the correct connection this is a closed circuit so once it lights up then you have to draw that one in step number three box there on your book that means that's the right connection you may try other uh, ways on how to connect okay just remember to connect the positive end and the negative end of the battery to the metal casing and the metal tip of the bulb okay so I'll give you around two minutes to finish step number two and step number three let's do the next one okay so on page 69 now step number four in your arrangement which parts of the bulb are connected directly or indirectly to the battery now let me just explain that a bit the keywords on the question are which parts of the bulb are connected so that means you have to recall the different parts of the bulb now you may ask 
what is directly and indirectly when you say directly means that you're not going to use any wire to connect that part of the bulb to the battery okay when you say indirectly means that you are going to use the wire so that you can connect that part of the bulb to the battery what you're going to answer there is which parts of the bulb are connected okay from your arrangement the arrangement that you have done so you have to look at your drawing in step number three now let's go to question number five are both ends or only one end of the battery connected to the bulb so you have there both ends or only one end of the battery you have to take note which of the ends are both ends connected to the bulb or only one end of the battery is connected to the bulb now remember okay you have the negative end and the positive end of the battery Please answer question number five now. Okay, congratulations everyone. If you have finished page 68 and 69 worksheet number two, making the right connections, okay, please check your answers once again. Okay, make sure that you have written them and you have drawn your drawing in step number three neatly. Make sure that you have done your work neatly and correctly as much as possible okay so with that okay so i'll see you again for the next activity